Jeff Blankman joined here on the Mackey Motors postgame show by Maddie Quirk from the ESAC Raiders. They moved to 3-0 on the season, knocking off IKM Manning. Three sets to nothing here tonight. Maddie, really good match for you girls overall tonight. Talk about the focus it looked like you girls came into um, the match. We came out like pretty good, and we wanted to win, so we just proved it. You, uh, you came out, set the ball really well tonight. You really kind of got into a rhythm. Talk about what you were seeing and how you were um, setting that ball early. I was pretty confident with my hitters and myself, so I just kind of very, like, I don't know, I just focused on setting the ball in the right spot that I wanted it to go. Where were you trying to set it tonight? What did you see that was open, um, and who were you really trying to work it to? I was just kind of setting it in a general area because I knew my hitters could hit around them because there wasn't much of a block, but I thought they did really well hitting my sets and Kayla's tonight. Back row had to be getting you the ball in pretty good shape. Talk about the play of the back row here tonight. Um, everyone covered really well, and everyone was ready for the ball. So what did you see from them serve-receive while you were in the back? What did you see as far as the serve-receiver um, tonight? I always think like it's going to come to me, so I'm always ready, but yeah. So let's talk about this. Six seniors in the starting lineup and then Laren Sharp, another senior. So a lot of veterans. This is your girls' yeah, final so chance. Each other and we so well. so what's, the, what's the goals for this team this year, and, and how much do you girls want that? Um, we want to go to state so bad, and we want to win conference, so we're just really want to work together and have fun. What do you feel like you got to do to accomplish those goals? Um, work hard in practice and lift each other up all the time. Well, Maddie, great job tonight. Congratulations on being our motor and player of the game. Appreciate you finally joining us here for a video interview. Thanks. You've met Maddie Quirk. Let's move over now to ESAC head coach Brenda Ulrich. And Brenda, got to be happy with the way your team came out tonight. Focus kind of took care of business here tonight. I, 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 they always come out really competitive. They like to be going on top of their game. Um, it's the beginning of the season, after being off for so long, you know, it, it takes a little bit to click, but they are definitely starting to get it going. What areas were you really happy with here tonight? Um, I'm always happy with their hitting, when they're swinging. I love that they, they don't have a fear of swinging away. Um, I like when they get a the comfort, but they start trying to do different shots. So I, I'm really happy with that hitting there. Um, I think they've been working really good blocking in practice, and you can start to pick up again. What, what stood out for you tonight with their touching and blocking that maybe was better than the, the matches up at GTRA last week? Um, I saw the block closing a little bit more. Um, they were starting to talk to each other about maybe moving it a little bit, trying to trying to get it set where it needed to be set. So it was really good when the girls could do that on the court and you can recognize that instead of the coaches always having to tell them. It's a really nice feeling that they can take that charge and that lead and do that. Coach, you got out quickly in all three sets, even though I.K. Manning made a little bit of a charge in set one and two. You never really let them completely kind of get back into it tonight. Yep. The girls kind of get that feeling, and then they just kind of let a switch flick, and they, they just go. So it's really a good feeling, like I said, that they know they've been on the court enough as varsity players that they can tell when it's time to get going, and they need to just pick it up and get going. Happy with the way your team served tonight? Yes, I am. They are always really good servers. We are conscientious about it. It's not about the pace. It's not about the individual. It's about what can I get for the team. Coach, uh, this team right now is sitting in pretty good shape the way it looks. you got a lot of different girls in tonight. Uh, pr pretty much probably everybody off of the bench. So you got some younger kids and some underclassmen, some playing time tonight. What did you see from some of them? It's nice just to see where they sit with a faster-paced game. You, know, you can watch JVR and JV, but to see them in a faster-paced game, how does their brain work, how do they you know, react to different things. So it's really nice to see where their level is. Well, Brenda, appreciate you joining us here tonight. Congratulations on the win. We'll see you. Actually, Jeff Hondold, we'll see you Thursday night for the Pokey right, match. Thank you. You met Brenda Ulrich, the head coach. We're going to get, uh, looks like, Bianca Cadwell now from IKM Manning. And Bianca, first match of the year tonight. You took on a team that uh, came in with a lot of seniors, a lot of yep. experience, and already had a couple of matches. So kind of hard to probably judge yourself completely off of that. But how did you feel like the Wolves played tonight? I think we did pretty good. It was our first game of the year, so after a while. Um, we had stuff to work on, obviously, but we did pretty good with like passing. We worked a lot on passing, and then we were trying to like close our block more after we found out they were really good hitters. <laughs> and I like aggressive serving. We were doing pretty good at that after a while. But you talked about working on passing a lot. How did you feel like you guys did on that? I think we did pretty good. I know, like in practice, we've been really working on defense and uh, passing the ball. So. I think we did pretty decent on that for tonight. First game. Got a chance to do some swinging, got a chance to do some setting tonight. Where did you feel like your game was at? I think I could have hit a little stronger, but <laughs> practice. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? They, they, they block about as well as they hit. So what, what were you seeing from them tonight? How were you trying to hit against them? Well, you try to hit around them, but it doesn't always happen. <laughs> or like when you uh, tip, try to go over the blockers. But. Just work on it. Did you find any areas you thought you could attack tonight? Any weaknesses in their defense? 
Uh, there was sometimes a hole in the middle, so like tipping in the middle worked really well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I heard somebody yell deep corner uh, oh, and, yeah, deep, corner, and yes. deep corner. Yeah. Still a learning process for a lot of young kids on this uh, Wolves team, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you take away from tonight that you think you and your girls can uh, use uh, to help you guys kind of move forward with the season? I think if we close our blocking more because we're probably going to have a lot of strong hitters coming at us. So, And then just being where we need to be. Well, well, Bianca, I appreciate you joining us here tonight. Best of luck the rest of the way, and I'll see you guys over in Booyer Valley on Thursday night. Sounds good. You Thank bet, you. Bianca Cadwell. We're going to get head coach Michaela Cron now sliding in here. And coach, uh, uh, the one thing that I jotted down, and I hate to bring it up, net violations. Oh. I you had to have double digits of those tonight. Yeah. Uh, you take some of those away, and some of these sets maybe a little bit closer. So even though you got beat 3-0 tonight, uh, there's probably some things you can point at that might be made this a little closer. Yes, um, definitely the net violations. Also, they had ran a lot faster of an offense that we've seen. So this is our first game, and we've only been practicing against our JV. So obviously they're quicker than them. Um, so that, I think, also played a little bit into the net violations on not being able to get their feet set and then jumping and kind of into the net. That whole thing. Did you feel like you adapted to the speed they were playing as the, as the match went on? Yes, definitely. I was very impressed with the girls and how they did adapt yeah. so quickly. Um, I think the first set was kind of a little bit of a shocker, but then after that, game two was a lot better, and I felt like we stayed with them and volleyed a lot more with them. One of the things that jumped out to me, too, is, is your team didn't quit, got down kind of big in set one and battled back. Same thing in set two. There's no quit in this team. Yeah, they do a good job of really uh, never giving up and playing as a team. You know, we might get a hand on a ball, and then we're running them down and that kind of thing. What stood out for you as positives that you'll be able to just kind of maybe build on with this team? I thought our passing, our serve receive looked really good, and we practice that every day, every single practice. That's one thing I do not make, like, give up <laughs> any time. Even if we're only practicing for an hour and a half, we're making sure we're doing that. Um, I think that looked good, and uh, they did a good job on getting to their spots in defense for how much we've worked on that, too. Had some young players, some sophomores in the starting lineup, so getting some good, valuable experience here tonight. Yes, we did have a couple, and they do a good job, and they work really hard and hustle, and they blend well with the team. So I got to ask, your first game on the bench here as the head coach of the varsity game at your alma mater, how did that feel? It was very nerve-wracking all day. I think I, I, More nerve-wracking than I think I usually am. I don't know why, <laughs> if it was just because of being here or what it was, but um, just a big shoes to fill, and I want to do well. Well, I tell you what, I uh, appreciate you joining us here, Michaela. We'll see you Thursday night down at Dunlap. Sounds good. Thank you. Jeff. You bet. Michaela Cron again, the head coach for the IK Manning Wolves. They fall here tonight as ESAC wins it by a final of three to nothing.